Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, and the Buanas of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to like I did doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. All right, and I just wanted to get into a uh, quick topic, you know, just based upon, you know, just wisdom. You know, going through uh, various verses here in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the sixth chapter, you know, just because. Um, we know that everything is done by wisdom, you know, starting off with the wisdom of the Mosai, which we know accordingly. Matter of fact, let me go to it, which we know accordingly is this right here. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 24 says, For wisdom is more than any moving motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of the Mosai and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her, you know. So, we know that that wisdom is the is is the breath of the Most High. That's how, <laughs> you know, uh, they have a, a term now like, oh, that's how you coming. Yeah, that that's how the Most High is coming. He he comes with that wisdom, man. When he puts his breath into something, man, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That meaning what he put his spirit into something. He put his energy into something, and ultimately, you know, that wisdom is trans. Uh, it's, it's passed down on to us, you know, because we have the wisdom of things of this world and of certain things that are to come, you know, granted by the Most High, putting his breath into us, you know, and making us actually alive, you know, having the spirit. That's actually being alive, you know, knowing the things in which uh, the Most High requires of us. That's being alive, you know, and moving according to that wisdom, you know. <laughs> It's very vital. All right. So going back to um, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 1, it says, Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord, and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Because being ministers of his kingdom, Ye have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High, right? What for power was given unto us, and it's trying our works. That's what this is about. We know that that this is dealing with what the trial of our faith. Matter of fact, let me go to that real quick. Um, first Peter. No, second Peter, I believe. I ain't even um. Sorry. What's book am I thinking about? First Peter. One, yeah, First Peter one and um, one and six. It says, uh, <clears throat> wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now, for a season. <clears throat> right, uh, wherein ye greatly rejoice. Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heavy heaviness through manifold temptation, that the trial <clears throat> that the trial of your faith being more being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, may be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of our Lord Yahweh Shah. So that's what this is all about, you know. This is about the trial of our faith, you know, us making it through and, and, and coming through and, and shining as you know a fine piece of gold or whatever precious metal you know that we are unto the lord as far as our uh individual um steed with him you know um, verse 8 whom having not seen ye love and whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving the end of your salvation i meant receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls and 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 this is what we seek you know and this is all this all comes through what through wisdom through the wisdom that the most high has given us through the wisdom that the most high has, has, has breathed into uh the nostrils of man you know so going back uh wisdom of solomon six and um and um i'll read it from the top again here therefore O ye kings and understand Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Obviously, that's us. Give 
ear, ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord, and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Uh, because, being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. And, and that's that's to our people, you know, across the across the globe that have high positions, that's doing our people dirty. In general, to people in the high places, all these Edomites and other nations that are above us, their whole kingdom, their whole world is coming crashing down swiftly upon their heads, man. You know? <clears throat> Verse 6, For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but the mighty men shall be mightily torment, tormented. Right? So it said what? Mercy will soon depart the meanest, you know, and mighty men shall be mightily tormented. So, hey, the most I let you know, hey, the most I coming with that work, man. The most I let you know, it's, it's no more time for none of this, you know, that Esau's been doing no more time for none of this or what our people have been doing out here. Hey, mercy is departing, man. You know, mercy is departing. And, and swift judgment is coming, man. You know, and we pray unto Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah that well, we don't get caught up in that judgment, you know. And that's why we're doing the work here. That's why we're seeking the sal the end of our faith, which is the salvation of our souls on a daily, you know. Uh, verse 6, I mean verse 7. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person, neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness. For he hath made the small and great and careful for all like but a sore trial shall come upon the mighty what those that is in those high places those who actually think them something because the lord like i don't care who you think you are within the society i created the small and the great you only have that power you only in this position because i put you there because i placed you there and that's something that we all realize within our lives we wouldn't be here if it obviously wasn't for the most high you know our lives would have been completely different you know it's of the most high's will not of our works not of our anything that's why all glory be to, and all praise be to Yahweh Bashmi Yahushua, because all things run through them, not us. You know, we we at the low end of the totem pole of this thing, man. We get our glory on the back end. You know what I'm saying? We we get our little percentage on the back end of everything. You know, but the Most High and Yahweh Shah, they gotta get theirs up front. You know. Verse nine: Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn and not fall away. That you may learn wisdom and not fall away. Because this is what the Most High wants us to do. He wants us to, to get up on game. He wants us to be right and exact, you know, and not to fall away into back into the cond condemnation of this world, you know, back into the mindset of the average person, you know. Um, <clears throat> verse, verse 10, for they that keep holiness holily shall be judged holily. And they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. And and that that's it. We looking to be judged holy ho, holyly, you know, uh, holy by the Lord. And knowing what things to say when we're asked of certain things, man. So many people they want to have answers for this and the third, but but they they don't even have a goddamn clue, man. They don't even have a goddamn clue. You know, they just fishing pretty much, you know? They just fishing. All right? They just out here, not knowing what's going on, not knowing what to do, so on and so forth, man, you know? But we, we in the right state of things, we know how to go about things the correct way, you know? Verse 11 says, Wherefore, set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. She preventeth them that desire her and making herself first known unto them, right? Because wisdom, what? You know, wisdom got to try you by those, by those, by the, by the crooked ways, by the, by the paths, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature, you know? <clears throat> That's what we do know, you know? Because wisdom is forever since it belongs unto the Most High, and it's a process with gaining wisdom. It's a process with anything within this world, so it's definitely a process with wisdom, you know? Um... 14, whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. And that's that's how we want to be. We want to be without care. The longer, the more the more righteously we deal with things in the spirit, the more 
the better off we can be able to actually deal with things without care, without a problem, without worry, you know? Because we're dwelling with wisdom according to the ways of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. And that's how it should be, you know? Verse 16. For she goeth about seeking such as worthy are for such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. So this is the beginning of things, you know, the beginning of 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 knowledge is discipline. The beginning of, you know, the desire for wisdom is discipline. You know, that's why what we are we are disciples of the Lord. You know, we're following after His footsteps to be disciplined exactly how our big brother was disciplined. You know, and this is true love because love is in action. You know, the Lord said, "What if He loved me, feed my sheep?" That means what you have to take an action towards. Me or towards the things in which I believed in, towards the things in which I set precedent for. Believe in that, walk in that, act towards that, you know? And that's how the Lord wanted. Verse 18, and love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth, a, bringeth to a kingdom. So this is what it's all about. By us, you know, uh, uh, conforming to the ways of the Most High and dwelling with wisdom, that is the insurance of our of our faith. That is the assurance of our salvation, you know? Because that draws us more near to the Most High. So obviously we're near to the Most High. What? When you get near to the Most High, you become a, a friend of the Most High. Therefore, what? The Most High wanted to open up to you more. The Most High wanted to come into the door. I got you. Don't worry about it. You've been dwelling with me. I got you. And that's how we want to have it. And that's how we move according to the ways of this world because we know we have to use this world not abuse this world but what we use the things of this world just to get by but we use but we're using the wisdom of the most high to be able to get by to bring us closer to where we want to be and that's the kingdom that's the everlasting rest in which we all desperately desire for and which the lord have promised our forefathers abraham and jacob and that's and that could be the best feeling in the world can't no other feeling in the world be better than that lord willing you know, we're chosen to be a part of that elect, and Lord willing, we make it to actually see that salvation, man. And that's what we all do this for, you know? The desire of wisdom, and for that wisdom to bring of us to that kingdom, man, you know? So with that, you know, I hope this segment was edifying, and I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakwadash, the one to the apostles in the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the like out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom.